What's going on? It's the Odd Man, Oddly Stevenson for NBL Canada Live. I'm here with Justin in the Mill Rats fan zone. What's going on, man? Not much. What's going on? I'm just hanging out, having a good time here in St. John. My first time here. And the fact that the Mill Rats got the fan zone in the middle of food court, that's kind of wild. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, and it's a really good location. We're beside Tim Hortons. And uh, they're lined up quite a bit, so we get quite a bit of exposure. And I think it, for, when we talk about exposure, it does exactly that. Get people familiar with the brand. Obviously, you're walking the mall, passerbys, what have you. Uh, you know, generally, how has the Mill Rats, uh, the, the Mill Rats as a team, uh, been received by the community? They've been received quite well. Uh, St. John's normally a, a hockey town. Right. Well. But uh, the Mill Rats are big about being out in the community, which uh, has actually helped them get quite a bit of few fans. Um, I find the Mill Rats are in in the community more than I see the Sea Dogs. So, you know, that's a huge thing. Like, it's it's helped us quite a bit. And, uh, you know, I have get people coming in here day, day in, day out, saying how great the team is and how great they are with kids and that they're out there in public and, right. you know, making themselves known. And, and that's the key, getting excited, getting people excited. When we talk about the kids, that's obviously a good thing as well. Can you kind of take us around here? The fans, this is the fan zone, guys. We're getting you an exclusive tour. Justin's hooking us up. Kind of give us a walk around what we're seeing here, uh, what we got. It's, it's kind of looking a little empty right now. Uh, we're in the middle of back-to-back uh, -back games. So a lot of my stuff is actually at the, the arena right now for tonight. But uh, these jerseys here, are the PBL jerseys okay, yeah, yeah. that we would have worn uh, our first year uh, that we're here that we've got selling. Um, and for those that don't know what PBL is, you might, I mean, some of us know, some of us don't. Uh, the PBL was the league. I can't remember exactly what it stands for, but it yeah, yeah it was the Premier Basketball League, which is the league that we played in our first season in St. John, uh, and I think that's what they were in when they were in Manchester as well. Right. So. All right. So we got some PBL jerseys here, yep. number 24. Who's that, 24? Who's 24? I should know that. Who's 24? I should know that. <laughs> yeah, you should know that. Who's 24? All right. So we'll figure that out later. Uh, these are some replica jerseys. Uh, we got one. We got three different replicas. Uh, this is Anthony Anderson's. Uh, and it just says, and it actually has the MBL. The only difference is it doesn't have Rogers on it. But. There we go. Uh, and, of course, we have the pictures of the players, uh, Anthony uh, Steve DeLuca, who happens to be one of the biggest players. He's got so many fans in St. John, it's not even funny. And why, why is that? Why is Steve DeLuca so big in St. John? I don't know. I think it's just because he's such a good player and he's just good with the community. Okay. I mean, most of them, like, uh, Anthony's really huge. Uh, Modibo Diera, he's huge. Yeah. Um, I mean, the community come together and brought him from Africa. Right. And his family. Yes. Yeah, which uh, was huge. Um, you know, in most places, if something like that was to happen, the community wouldn't come together like that. And St. John really came together and brought him home. Right. Because technically, you know what? This is his home now. Right. And we're glad to have him here. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. So uh, more replica jerseys. So at any point, do players ever come and hang out here and maybe like you know, greet fans or what? Do they, do they interact in that way? They do. Uh, what I'll do is, because I'm the manager of the store, so what I will tend to do is uh, check their schedule, set up for, you know, for them to come hang out for maybe an hour or two hours. Uh, we'll post it all over Facebook so that people can come and get autographs. Uh, just kind of come chill with the players. Yeah. Or they'll just come and just mess around and when kids are walking by, they'll come in to see them, of course, because they're huge sure. for some kids and they're like, wow, you know, you're huge. So. And you got, let's go, you got some mill rap basketballs. This is, let's get a shot of this, man. These are some mill rap basketballs, which is kind of hot. Nice. Course, come watch us work. That's the, uh, the motto of the team, right? Slogan. You have that. And then, and then one of my, 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 my pro, there's, there's two things uh, about the Mill Rats basketball team I absolutely love. Two of them are two of my favorite things. One off, the Mill Rat dancers. I love them. They're just, we're just cool like that. And then, of course, my second favorite thing has got to be my dude, Foreman George. You got to love Foreman in the house. Awesome. Hey, look, Justin, appreciate you taking us through the Mill Rats fan zone. Like I said, man, the Mill Rats community getting behind this team is awesome to see. Thanks for hanging out. NBL Canada Live. I'm out.
Canada.